stone. As soon as it hit the water, as soon as it hit the water, another big one, another, another good one. Oh, that thing hammered it. Was I got off work and I really didn't feel like going fishing, but I did anyway, and I'm glad I did. Enjoy the video. But anyway, I had on a little jerk bait, just kind of testing the water to see if anything was biting. And got a few bites, nothing important. They wasn't really like into it. So I put on a 16th ounce ACC crappie head or crappie sticks head with a crappie magnet in the chartreuse. I think it's the Percy. No, it's a show enough pattern. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. It's a chartreuse with silver pattern there. Hopefully y'all can tell. I cut the one leg off to give it some more action. And did I put that over that again? No. But it's very, very, very light twitches. Oh, it's a fish. I thought I snagged on a... I thought I snagged on that bridge pillar because I don't know how well you can see, but the two on the opposite side, like these, have footings. I thought I snagged on that one. But this is a... Uh, hog of a crappie that is barely hooked big time crappie and you know what i'm gonna do with it i'm gonna hold on to it and unfortunately i didn't uh bring a ah uh, shoot one of the things that you put fish on in the water stringer down here I don't have anything that's heavy enough with me. Oh well. We'll just throw you up there for the time being. I really only need like one, maybe two crappie right now anyway. I know somebody's probably saying, yeah, put that crappie on a stringer. You don't let it suffer out there. It's gonna die either way. Like I have every intention of putting that in here. Oh, shit. that was another miss. And that was a good one too. That one didn't miss. You are just a tad shy of being a keeper, I believe. Well, I can't get my can't get it out because of my And I don't have anything with me to measure this one with. Now, we're not going to go ahead and keep you because you are just a little bit, a little bit thin. Oh, I missed it and then he came back and got it. Except that's not a crappie. That's our old, that's our old buddy Gillikin from Gillikin's Island down there. Ooh, we got a, a snake bud down there. A little common water snake. Nothing to worry about. They harmless. Oh. 
missed another good hit right there. I may go ahead and put a uh, bobber on there. But then again, what I'm doing is working, so. This one's a little bit nicer. Not by much. I mean, we skated him in. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that one out without my flowers. I tell you what, that one or didn't want to give it up. He wanted that jig. Whoops, sorry about the billy flop. There's another crappie. Seems like they're hanging out on on that side where everybody's getting stuck. They're getting stuck because they're letting their crappie jigs get down into that tree. And ain't able to get out. Got one. Ain't real big, but it counts. We don't discriminate against our crappies. little ones like that they're meaner than the big ones oh, there's a bite there's another bite and that one feels a little bit nicer I may be frying two of them oh best bet home fry gonna be slicing up two of these honkies Easily a 10 inch crappie. Easily. God, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Another little black crappie. All of them have been black crappie so far. Every now and then I'll get lucky and catch a white crappie out of here, but, and they're usually quite a bit bigger. Got it. Itty bitty. Itty bitty slab Tyrannosaurus. Itty bitty Slabosaurus Rex. Oh, God. As soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water. Hammer. Straight up hammer. Alright. Hey Siri. Uh -huh. Set timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes counting down. 
All right. Y'all seen it there? Another big one. Another, another good one. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do something here in a minute, which I've only got about ten minutes left on this little timer anyway. Got it. This one ain't that big, but it still counts. It still counts. All crappies count to me. Fun fact, I brought two different bags down here of gear, like one with bass lures and one that's nothing but crappie baits and stuff like that. Oh, God. That thing hammered it. Stuff like that. That is the hardest crappie hit that I have had in a long time. Do not come off. You came off. No, 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 no. No. You don't move. Oh, did you see that? That crappie, that crappie literally hit that trout mag or crappie magnet like it was going a hundred miles an hour. Downhill, no brakes with a load. Dude. Got it. Not real big. We only got about four minutes left on this little little deal. There's a little spaz crappy. Well y'all. If I'm being completely honest, I didn't want to come fishing today. Work kind of sucked, but you know, sometimes you just have one of those moments like, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna go. And today I am glad I did. Anyway, let's go over the rod that I caught all of those crappies on. It's not a crappie rod, but it serves as a dang good one. The rod is a Dobbins Fury 661 SF 66 one piece there's the rod specs six six one piece four to ten pound h three eight light fast action designed for drop shots dart head split shot rigs and i guess i can show the reel while i'm thinking about it too the reel is a shimano noski 1000 spooled up with eight pound daiwa j8 braid and that goes down to a cigar red label fluorocarbon leader about the same length as the rod the bait that i was using or lure i should say was a acc crappie sticks like yes i am a massive fan of trout magnets and crappie magnets but hear me out 
the jig heads that I were using were ACC crappie sticks, the chartreuse in 32nd ounce and 1 16th ounce. You know, you kind of have to play with your fall rates to see, you know, where the fish are at and see what they want. And typically 1 32nd and 1 16th work really well up here. And the bait that I was using, um, I've already put my bag up where I'd show you, but it's the crappie magnets in chartreuse show enough and i think just salt and pepper or something like that it's just a silver with black flake or something like that in it anyway i gotta get these fish home get them took care of and get to cutting all right we're back home and i'm not going to go through video and the filleting process because i'm not that great at it anyway got a nice fine surface to do it on right here so I'm gonna get my electric knife out and get to filleting these slabs. Gonna need that. Gonna need those for the scraps. All right, well, my electric knife is not being very friendly with um, my power box. I don't know what to go, what's going on there. So I guess I will just show you um, Probably don't need to have that on there, copyright stuff. And but anyway, I'll show you how I do it um, with a fillet knife. I don't like cutting and going that way with a fillet knife. I prefer making that cut and then just working my way down. That way I can go over that rib cage. You hear that rib cage there? All right, I got the fillets all took care of nice and rinsed off but i'm not going to throw them in the breading like that i'm going to take and pat them dry that way the breading sticks to them a little bit better it would be easier to just out like this and just pat them dry so we're going to take put probably handful per bag that way I can get them seasoned good and the seasoning we're going to use whisker seeker Cajun I've used the plain whisker seeker once or twice it's good stuff and this stuff is relatively cheap too you can get on their website for less than about I think about four bucks for a bag. I'll leave a link in the description. That might be enough. And it might not be enough, but we'll give it a second. You know, I'll get it shook up. a little bit more I should have let these marinate in some Franks or Chipotle seasoning Oh, they look good and yeah, it seems to be level enough level enough for who you're doing it spicy Alright, now we just gotta wait for the oil to heat up. 
heat up. All right, it's just about ready. Uh, just a little bit longer and the oil will be fine and dandy. In the meantime, might as well pass the time. <clears throat> All right, let's take this little small piece. Still a little bit, a little bit too, too cool. There we go, it's starting to sizzle good now. Oh, that smells good. Man, I wish y'all had snow vision. Well, hopefully y'all can kind of see me. It got a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be, but our fish fillets, our nuggets are done. Whisker seeker bread. Let's take a bite out of them. Let's find a good crispy one. That's good right now. Put them on top of your head. Your tongue will beat your brains out trying to get to them. Well, y'all, I certainly hope y'all enjoyed that catch and cook video. I definitely had a lot of fun making it. Um, those crappie, I really just don't know what was in them today. But they were just straight pile driving those ACC crappie heads and crappie mega jigs. Like, I'm still not over how hard that one hit. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, I had a ton of fun making it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.